One of the strengths of working in Toon Boom Studio is not only do you have predetermined shapes that you can use like the ellipse tool or the line tool or the rectangle tool, but you can actually manipulate those and get them to do a lot more than just a standard shape. You can do all of this using a tool called the contour editor. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to our drawing tools. I'm going to go to my rectangle tool and I'm going to go over to my pens and make sure I have a very thick line here. I'm going to have the maximum size to set up at 25. And I'm just going to click and drag just a basic rectangle here. And now we have the simple thing here and you're thinking, okay, this looks absolutely nothing like what's in our sketch. But that's where the contour editor comes in. So I'm going to go to my select tool, come down to contour editor, and I can click each one of these points. These are anchor points. And by selecting these points, I can click and drag out the point where it should be. And in addition to that, what's in between these points, these are called paths. So I can click and drag this path so it is altered. But right now, I don't want to do that. What I do want to do is add some extra points. So I'm going to undo that last move. Let's do Command Z. Control Z on PC. And with my contour editor still selected, I'm going to move into the path where I'd like to add another anchor point. And I'm going to hold down my Option key, Alt on PC. And you'll notice my cursor has changed. And I'm going to click just once. And that's going to add an extra point. Now, once I've let go of my Option key or Alt key, you still have your contour editor selected. So I'm going to click this new point and bring this in right where it should be. And now I will take this path here. I'm going to move, I'm just going to click and push to do this little curved line. Okay. And I'm also going to curve the back of the boot here a little bit just to give a little more feel to it so it doesn't look so sterile. Okay. And move the anchor point back a little bit. And we have created all of this from a basic shape of a rectangle. And we can do all these changes just by using the contour editor. Now, in addition to this, we have this curve we've set up here. It's a Bezier curve. So if I click right at the anchor point, you'll see these little handles. These are direction handles. So I can control how much of a curve there is by pulling on the direction handles here. And if I decide, you know what, I want to keep it straight, I can do that also. So I'm just pulling on the direction handles. If you're familiar with other graphics programs, this works the same way that you would when you're working with the pen tool or working with Bezier curves and direction handles. Anywhere you have a curve set, once you've actually bent these, you can start playing with the direction handles and cleaning up and tightening up your work. And that is how you would work with the Contra Editor.